Hey Kink Chums and welcome back to another video. Now, it's been a while since I've actually filmed a YouTube video. Um, it has been so busy, you would not believe what's been going on. We've had end of term stuff at school, um, food festivals, uh, live demos, projects and deadlines for all sorts of different people. So I thought this week I would just jump on camera um, I've got a cake to finish, so I'm, I'm going to do that, and I thought I'd just kind of fill you in on everything that's been going on and get you all caught up, so that hopefully, from now, we can get back to my regular posting schedule, or upload schedule, whatever we want to call it, and um, things will be a little bit more normal again. So, should we just, let's just get started. So as I say, in this week's video, I'm going to be decorating a cake, and while I do that, I'm also going to be telling you guys essentially what's been going on in my life over the last few weeks. Is it four weeks since we had a, just a normal, proper sit-down, me, you video? It feels like that anyway. So um, I'm going to get all my stuff together, and then I, I figured we can... we'll just get started. Okay, so I have, I've kind of changed angles, but not really this one, because I've got a second camera so you can see what I'm doing. But essentially, the cake we're going to be finishing off today is a new recipe. Um, it's for a coffee and walnut cake, and if you're following me on TikTok, you will have seen it already, because I did a, a quick TikTok of me decorating one in the heat, actually, a couple of weeks ago. I originally made it for a kind of a family celebration and it went down like a storm so I figured I would add it to my website as a new recipe. So the one we're making today is going to be kind of like the nice beauty shots one so I'm hoping the decoration will go a little bit better than it did on TikTok. But anyway, yes, yeah, so um, quick tip, if you are assembling a cake directly onto a cake stand, um, if you pop your cake stand on a Lazy Susan, this one's just from Ikea, then you can still use the stand as like a turntable, which makes the whole decorating process a lot easier. So yes, um, I'm gonna get started, and while I'm doing it, I'm gonna tell you about what's been going on in my life. So, got some, I've got three layers of coffee and walnut cake, and then I've just got a massive, massive piping bag full of just a very basic, but very strong coffee buttercream. Big fan of strong buttercream, big strang of, big strang, big, fan of strong coffee flavours. Um, I don't tend to do a lot of coffee baking because I just tend to find that coffee cakes tend to be quite, I don't know, the flavours are never really what I want them to be. So this one, I made a point of really amping up the coffee flavour. So I'm just starting off by going around the edge and piping little blobs of buttercream. And then these will look really pretty when we put the next layer of cake on. Anyway, so yes, while I'm doing this, I'm supposed to be talking, aren't I? So yeah, um, school finished about a week ago now, so obviously there's always that mad panic at the end of the year to, to get everything finished, um, and I do usually end up going into school for some extra stuff as well, in addition to my usual days, whether that's for like stuff, training days, or, you know, like I went in on the last day to see the kids off because I teach year two and they're off to the juniors. So that's one of the things that's been happening. And we're actually changing how we teach next year as well. We're going to be doing something we're calling enhanced provision, which is more like they teach in early years. So lots of kind of independent child initiated learning, which should be really fun. So I've been going in in the holidays to get the classroom kind of adapted and changed for that really excited about it, but a bit scared because it's totally different to what I'm used to. Um, I need, a, I need a bowl. Do I have any bowls up here? Probably not. need a bowl for scraping. Oh, that would be. Bowl for scraping. So essentially what I've done there is I've piped those kind of blobs, for want of a better word, around the outside and then I've just filled in in the centre and then it's simply a case of going in with the next layer of cake. And what I also want to do is find the most photogenic sides and line those all up so I get some nice images for this 
photo shoot. And then we do exactly the same thing again. Kind of the other big thing that I guess has been keeping me busy recently is Foodies Festival. Um, if you're not in the know, Foodies Festival is a kind of a touring food festival that goes all over the country and it features top chefs, um, local food producers, live music, some big name bands as well as some amazing tribute acts as well and again local talents. And originally I was asked to appear at one when they were working on putting together a Southampton foodies festival because Southampton is just down the road from me. But um, as it turned out, that didn't happen. I think there were issues with the council or something. And so Foodies Southampton never came to be. But then last year, when they were working on Foodies Winchester, they asked if I'd like to appear as a, a local chef or a local talent. And of course I said yes. And then of course we had COVID. So Foodies Winchester didn't end up, well, none of the foodies ended up happening last year, which is a real shame. But when they were putting together the lineup for this year, they asked if I'd like to do Winchester again, and I said yes. And that took place not last weekend, but the weekend before. And I'll be honest with you guys, I had an absolute blast. I did it all three days, and I was appearing in the Cakes and Desserts Theatre, or the Cakes and Bakes Theatre, and making my carrot and orange cupcakes, which are over on my website, I'll put a link in the video description. And then the night before the first day of the festival, I had a phone call from kind of one of the, the top bods at Foodies in a bit of a panic, saying that some of their chefs had been pinged by Track and Trace, and would I be able to do any extra demos on the kind of the, in the chef's theatre, which is where kind of all the master chef champions and local Michelin starred chefs and things like that appear. And um, yeah, I, I did say yes, and then proceeded to have a bit of a panic about it. In fact, I put something up on TikTok. I'll see if I can share it here as well, so you can see. Good morning, people of TikTok. Um, I need to have a quick freak out here on the app because nobody follows me and therefore nobody will see it. But today I am appearing at a food festival, uh, Foodies Winchester, if anyone's coming down, let me know in the comments, that's the one. Um, and I was appearing in the Cake and Bake Theatre because this is what I do. But yesterday they contacted me to say that a couple of the chefs on the main stage have been flagged to isolate by Track and Trace and could I pick up one of the demonstration spots and being the kind, caring and giving individual that I am, I, I of course said yes. Just seen the lineup. Master Chef Champion, Master Chef Finalist, Master Chef Champion, Michelin starred chef. Me. It's gonna be fine, right? It, it, it's gonna be. Oh, but I ended up doing it, and I did a mixed berry pavlova, which I've done for the Kenwood Kids Club before, so I can link that in the video description as well. And yeah, we um, it was really fun. And then off the back of doing that one, oh, I should say as well, I met some awesome people. Definitely made some new friends for life, um, including. Bake Off Dave, as I've started calling him. So you might remember Dave Friday from last year's Bake Off. He lives fairly local to me, and he was also there. Awesome guy, met his wife and his, well, sorry, fiance, and his gorgeous little boy as well. Hoping to um, get him in here to do some filming with me at some point too. Um, but yes, I had loads of fun. And then off the back of that, they turned around and asked if I would like to do any more of the foodies dates. And I said yes, I would do all of them. And so now I'm going to be appearing, well I did Foodies Cambridge last weekend, and that was awesome. In fact, some of my friends came to watch me at that one, and I have got some footage of uh, my demo on the, in the yeah, because I ended up in the Chef's Theatre again. But I've got some footage from that demo, so I'll try and edit some of that in, maybe now. Let's do it now. Baker Gall! You're right, Sarah, he does the washing up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, she does so much more than what she does. It's her official character. Uh, she, bring, she runs this mm-hmm. theatre, um, you know, with a iron steel, as you know, rod, iron steel rod, I don't know. Anyway. You don't need to convince me, I mean, it's... I know, hello! <laughs> So, uh, Rosta, what are you going to do for us today? So today we are going to be making a summer berry pavlova. Um, obviously today you have watched a multitude of incredible talent. You've seen MasterChef winners, MasterChef of Professionals winners. And so we're going to round off the day with a primary school teacher showing you how to make dessert, essentially. <laughs> that's what I mean, that's what I'm going to say, because that's, that's, that's your real job, isn't well, it? Or is it? And like, you also a t- TV, you've got YouTube. It's the internet, to be fair, mate. Yeah, but it's still television. He's learning. <laughs> so basically, Monday, t- Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm a primary school teacher. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I, I make content for my own social media, for YouTube, for brands that I work with, including, you may see, we're almost actively sponsored here by Kenwood. Um, and yeah, so pastry chef by night, primary school teacher by day. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Shall I, shall I start cooking? Why not? Okay. Do you sleep? Um, sometimes. Yeah. Not well. And that is the perfect summer dessert. Make it in advance, pop it in the fridge, and it will go down an absolute storm. So that is my summer berry pavlova with fresh cream, fresh fruit, and a fresh homemade mixed berry coolie. That's that look beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Rob, take the door. Thank you very much. What can I say, Rob? Thank you so much, as always. Very entertaining. So as you can see, I definitely play up the fact that I'm not like a Michelin star chef or anything. But it is so much fun, and the guy who was comparing with me on, on that stage is Jeremy, who is the husband of the kind of the woman behind Foodies Festival. Um, and we just have such a giggle, it's really, really fun. But yeah, so that, that was last weekend. And then on the way home, I stopped in to see Natalie and Chris, as you'll know, because last week we did the live video together, which if you haven't watched yet, again, I will link in the video description and in the corner. But just after we filmed that video was when the biblical rainstorms came. So if, again, if you saw the news and you saw the London flooding, that kind of was like northeast London and in the kind of the surrounding areas. And Natalie and Chris live in Harlow, well near Harlow in Essex, which was kind of slap bang in the centre of where all that happened. And yeah, we were having a late lunch after doing the video and basically Natalie said, what's going on in the conservatory and we essentially realised that the water that was coming down, the biblical rain, was just running down their garden which slopes and as it was hitting the back of the house it was working its way under the conservatory seals into the conservatory. So we kind of frantically stripped everything out of there as quickly as we could but then the neighbours came knocking and basically said that all the water that was pouring out of Natalie and Chris's garden was going into theirs and their house was at, like the water was getting so deep it was at danger of, in danger, of coming through the front door. So we then went and spent about an hour, I think it was, bailing water out of their, kind of their driveway into the street to, to stop it getting so deep it would flow through the front door. And the rain kind of stopped after a while and we did manage to, to clear the water as much as we could, but then it started again. And it, it was crazy. It basically was even heavier than it was before. And so Natalie and Chris's conservatory flooded even more. The neighbor's garden and, and front driveway flooded even more. Um, we ended up putting sandbags around the front door. And then we went and helped some other neighbors on the other side of the road who were even further down the slope. And one of them, it was just, the water was so deep, it had gone into the downstairs and it was awful. But yeah, I think we spent about four and a half hours just bailing water. Not, not how I saw the weekend going, but honestly, you wouldn't, I don't think people could understand what it was like unless they were there. It was just, I've never seen rain like it. We were joking, it must be like, you know, when you get monsoon season in um, places like India and Black Bangladesh, um, or even like the, the rain you get in the rainforest, it was just, like literally sheets of water and it just didn't stop. But yeah, so that was essentially the weekend and then since then I have been in school, kind of getting everything set up for September. And we did obviously we've been doing the Kimwood Kids Club, that's been happening throughout. So 
can get all caught up on those episodes. Again, I can link that down in the video description. And then just working on other projects. So this cake, as I say, is a new recipe that will be going up on my website, hopefully in the next day or two. But I'm going to be demonstrating it live over on the Kenwood Instagram on Thursday. So Maria, who usually does their weekly live videos, is on holiday at the moment, so I'm gonna step in. And because Maria, on her own social media, is known as the coffee and cake girl, because she works with DeLonghi and Kenwood, I figured in her honor, we would do coffee cake. So that's why this is, that's what this is for. So we'll take some nice photos to promote it. Sorry, I'm chopping walnuts while I'm talking. And then yeah, after that, what else is going on? I think, so we've got, I have a cheat sheet. Yeah, Instagram Live for Kenwood on Thursday. Um, I'm working on a cake for a fairly big and well-known organization, which I will talk about once it's all done and dusted, and I'm allowed to. I've got a live coming up for Renshaw, actually. Um, they're doing a kind of school holidays, summer school thing. And so some of the Renshaw ambassadors are doing some tutorials for kids. I know Jackie's done one already, Jackie Kelly of Totally Sugar. And I'm going to be doing one in a couple of weeks time. Just keep an eye on my social media, I think is probably the best thing. And you'll see when those sorts of things are announced. But yeah, if you've got any kids who are into baking, it's gonna be quite achievable, shall we say. And then, um, I've written collaborations down. I can't remember what that means. Am I collaborating with people? Um, I'm not actually sure. Um, so anyway, yeah, I finished the cake. Um, I just piped a load of um, like kisses on the top. And then all I'm doing now is just sprinkling it with a very generous amount of roughly chopped walnuts. And then I'm gonna let some kind of fall down the side as well. Just give it that nice rustic finish. Good for photos, less good for the cleanliness of your home. He says dropping them all over the floor. In the recipe I say to chop up a, a kind of a small handful and I've just chopped up a whole bag, so I don't know why I did that. But yes, essentially that is pretty much what the finished cake looks like. But yeah, so I'll be making this live over on Instagram next week on Thursday if you like the sound of it. It's absolutely packed with coffee because as I say, I'm, I'm not a fan of kind of anemic, weak coffee flavoring. If you're gonna do coffee, I wanna taste coffee. But yeah, so Instagram next week on Thursday. If you're not already following me on Instagram, um, I'll put my username up on the screen. And yeah, Renshaw in a couple of weeks. Collaborations apparently, but goodness knows who with. Um, and then as I say, Foodies Festival, I am doing, I think the next one is London in two weeks time. So that's at Scion Park. I will be there. We've got Bristol coming up, Bournemouth, Brighton. They're kind of all, all over the place. So again, if you keep an eye on my social media, I'll let you know as and when those are happening. And yeah, and then obviously, I'll be right here every Sunday on YouTube, touch wood, with a brand new video. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit that big red subscribe button down below to make sure that all my videos pop up in your suggested list. And if you'd like to receive a push notification every time I upload a new video, you can also hit the bell icon as well. Now, I appreciate this isn't very normal compared to my usual content, but I really wanted to get a video up this week. I also had to finish this cake, and I just wanted to explain where I've been for the last few weeks, because people have been asking. So hopefully this video satisfied all of those briefs. And as I say, from next week, we'll get things back. Oh, I've remembered who I'm collaborating with, but I can't tell you yet. But yes, I'm gonna be collaborating with someone, and it's very exciting, actually. It's, it's quite huge. We're going to be making a cake together here on my channel for an event that we will then take the cake to, um, and I'll get footage from that as well. So that's coming up as well. So if you're not already subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. I'm not normally this mad and manic, I promise. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah, so that's also happening. Very exciting. Um, but yeah, essentially, not always mad. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. 
um, to tell YouTube that more people should see this crazed state of mine. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're following me on social media so you can see what is coming up over the next few weeks. And um, I guess I'm going to wrap this up because I now need to do a nice photo shoot of this cake so that I can send the pictures to Kenwood. So thanks so much for watching. If any of what I said didn't make sense and you'd like some clarification, feel free to jump down to the comments and let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next Sunday. Until then, stay safe, take care, and as always, happy caking.